hey snowdrops so um y'all voted for me to explain why sibling relationships are so important and the alex's adventures snow like snowfall um you know, there are multiple books set in, in the same world so we'll just call it the alex's adventures universe for now until i make up my mind but so um yeah, so the reason siblings are so important is mainly due to the fact that I have, I have and I've lost so many. If y'all didn't already know, my family used to foster. Is this under my nose bleeding? Nope. Okay. And, um, we had foster kids coming in and out of our lives constantly. But, <laughs> so we ended up adopting four kids we got legal guardianship over one so basically speaking if it wasn't for foster care i'd be an only child <laughs> but so anyways and yes i'm dressed as snowflake right now got a lot of filming to do today there we go now maybe it'll stay out of my face but um anyways so siblings are so important because I would get way too attached to some of them. So the twins, for example, they love to be by each other's side, but they will also gladly murder each other within five seconds if they, if they get the chance. Snow sees Alex as a younger version of her. That is me and one of my cousins written all over pretty much when we were younger. Um... Then there's, of course, Alex and Kate. Kate is my older sister, and Alex is me. And then we've got Sam and Harley. Harley grew up without knowing anything about her real family until she found out about the dailies who had adopted a son after their daughter got kidnapped. And that relationship is really important to me because it's kind of a, hey, I grew up with your parents, but we're still family, even if you didn't. And it's important to me because it makes me think about how foster siblings will get, or not foster siblings, but bio siblings can get separated in foster care. Um, honestly, I'm just playing with, <laughs> it helps me focus, I don't know why. But so then you've got a duo like Jane and Mia who were best friends that became sisters. Again, me and my older sister. <laughs> we got her for a weekend and then she had to, started having to come back every weekend because I would not give up. <laughs> and that ended with us adopting her when she turned 18. And, there, and for anyone in the comments that's like, you can't do that, she's a legal adult. Yes. Yes, you can. It's called, bio you know what, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> Anyways, so... Um, then you've got Ocean and Fauna. That's a pretty good example of sisters that are having to live apart, which again is kind of an example of what I've seen in foster care. My two youngest siblings, they are bio, but they had to live separately. We got my baby sister first and even though she's not really a baby she's in second grade that does not feel like it's right but you know um trying to think about any other real sibling duos and then i start, yeah so then i started wanting to explore sibling duos that don't always get along so or they love each other to death but they are complete polar opposites they try to get along for like the sake of their parents so excuse me that one would be something like lana and memphis lana is mean and rude she would do anything to protect memphis so memphis is kind sweet a little angel until she gets mad 
And then the last category is I'll protect you and I hate you. You're not actually my sister. I don't care. <laughs> Which is Star and Clara. So, man, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and reveal who Star is before she does her actual introduction, but might as well. <laughs> so, anyways, so she's the one that's always in the white dress with like the little pattern up on the top and around the sleeves. And also, I love that dress, but those sleeves are so itchy, <laughs> which is why I don't play her that often. Like this, not gonna lie, I slept in this. It's comfortable. <laughs> also, the sleeves. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked. <laughs> so Star is the one that is like, you might hate me. We might be on opposite sides, but I will do anything to protect you. While Clara, she doesn't care about Star at all. She will team up with her, but only to get something out of it. Oh, um, yeah, that's really it for the whole sibling dynamic thing. The reason, again, like I said at the beginning, the reason is because I lost so many siblings and I wanted a way to see what could have happened if we'd kept any of them, really. They hadn't gone to other homes or bio parents or anything like that because... Honestly, I feel like there probably wouldn't have been a star in, or a star in Clara. I just felt that star in Claire. A star in Clara situation. But you never really know. Luckily, we ended up with the Jane, Mia, Alex, Kate type situation, which is my favorite. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, that is all for now. Bye, Snowdrops.